This is the first blood sample of someone that has not had the rain product. As you will see, the little bubbles flying by are the red blood cells. They're supposed to be free and clear of one another. They can touch, but you don't want to see a lot of overlapping. And you see how some of these cells are kind of linked together as they go by. That's due to poor protein digestion. Uh, the big white glob there in the center is a white blood cell. Looks a little small, um, not really formed very well. So this lets me know that this person is probably very acidic, not digesting food very well. Uh, the shininess inside the red blood cells, the bubbles, uh, lets me know that they're not actually getting the oxygen and nutrients throughout the body because that's the function of the red blood cells is to carry the oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. There's a lot of um, trash in the blood plasma which is the background of the blood. So this is the first stick. Let's me know that this person is having some digestive problems therefore leading to some uh, serious, probably health problems because the body's just not being nourished. We're going to take the soul product now and then wait a few minutes and see what we find then. Okay, here we see the blood 15 minutes after the taking the uh, soul product. You see the red blood cells seem to be more clear. They seem to be more separate, moving around. Don't see a lot of overlapping. Um, here we see a couple of white blood cells, maybe a little bit larger. Uh, you see several of them in one scan here. That lets me know that the immune system has been stimulated. See, here's two together. You see they have more shape, more form. Um, the holes inside the white blood shell, shed cell are normal. That's what we want to see. But I'm most impressed with the size and the shape of the red blood cells as they move out throughout the blood plasma. So we'll check again. This is 15 minutes after taking the soul product. I want to look again in 30 minutes after taking the soul product and see what we see then. Okay, here you see the blood 30 minutes after taking the rain product. As you can see, the round blood, uh, red blood cells, which are the round bubbles, are free and clear of each other. They're touching, but they're not sticky and overlapping. In the center, we see another white blood cell, and it's in good form. The white blood cell actually moves around throughout the blood, seeking bacteria, um, red blood cells that are malformed, which are your free radicals, and they either digest it for more energy to move about the blood, or they um, use it for more energy to, uh, to move around and clean up the bacteria and whatever is going, parasites, that type of thing that's going on in the blood. This is a great improvement from the first stick because the blood cells are now able to move more, more easily and more quickly throughout the blood. So this is what you like to see when a product gets right into the bloodstream. Again, this is 30 minutes after the sold product, and I suspect uh, a great improvement as the product gets more into the system. We'll check again, and let's do another 30 minutes. Here is the one hour after the soul product video. As you can see, the red blood cells are perfectly round. They're kind of touching each other and that's okay. They've only got so much space to run to. And in the center you see a white blood cell with four lobes inside. So this is a good white blood cell as well. This is the fourth and final stick. Um, I'm very pleased with how the blood is looking now. 
If you'll notice from the first video to the last video, the red blood cells are not shiny inside, which shows me a lack of oxygen. They're all round. They're not clumped on top of one another and not linked together. So this is a good sign. Now the cells are free to take the oxygen and nutrients throughout the body and nourish the body and oxygenate the body. Disease can't prevail in an oxygenate, oxygenated body.